Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlotte. If you didn't know already, I'm sorry for my voice. I'm ill again still. I've had a bad chest for about two months. It keeps coming and going and my immune system just must be really low because every sort of two weeks I'm getting a bug and I've been ill for a week now and I'm never ill like this. I've been wanting to make this video for ages and if I don't do it now I'm not going to get the chance so I'm going to power on through. Behind me that you can't see is a massive pile of stuff I'm going to show you and it's quite intimidating and that's not even everything I have to show you. There are two boxes in the spare room which didn't get brought into my room because um, they're too heavy but there's just lots of stuff. Basically a lot changed in my life last year and something that I didn't really get to talk about is that I've been in the process of trying to get my own house or trying to move out. It's a difficult and long and shit process but I will, I'm 31, I'll be 32 in six weeks time and I've never moved out of home because I've been ill for so long. Obviously I'm still ill but having my car back has given me a taste of independence and freedom and also being with Sam has made me feel like it's something that I feel safe enough to do now and that I want to do. It's something that I'm working with with the council and social services because of my disabilities I need to be in a property that's safe um, and because of my mental health I need to be supported. The process started, it was a few months ago, and we had a few meetings. I suddenly had a phone call a few weeks later and they said, we found a property for you. I was like, oh my god, oh shit, wow. And about five minutes later they called back and they said, nah, can't, you can't afford it. So my emotions kind of went like that. But it made me realise that if I did get somewhere that quick, it's not going to be that quick, it's going to be a while now. If I did get somewhere, I have nothing. I've never lived out of home, so all I have is the stuff in my bedroom like a bed, chest of drawers, and a load of crap, which you can see behind me, but you're gonna ignore because you're nice. So I started buying stuff from my house. Some of it's boring, some of it's fun, and I wanted to show you the stuff that I've got so far. I've pretty much got everything that I need, apart from like furniture and electrical appliances, because I don't know what it's gonna come with, so I just need to buy a sofa and like stuff for the kitchen. Dishwasher, I need a dishwasher. I can't wash dishes on my own, I can't do that. I don't like it, I don't like wet hands, washing machine and that sort of stuff, but everything else I've got. There is a theme, my theme for my house is going to be gothic, Moroccan, hippie, brothel, fairy tale chic. And you'll see why um, in a minute, you'll see all the stuff that I've got. I'm going to show you as much as I can, there is a lot, and I'll tell you where I got stuff from, and how much it was if I know, but yeah. I'm going to get started. The first thing here is a lamp. It is a skull. It is the size of my head. It is very cool. I never would have thought I would buy something like this, but I'm definitely developing my own sense of style with no thought of what other people think. I know that like, especially like the people in my family are like, when they talk to me about like, moving out, they're like, oh, you need to get like real sensible stuff and like plates and everything. And I've got my plates, but what I said to them is, I've got four skulls so far. I think it's, it's either three or four skulls, but yeah. As I said, there is kind of a gothic, magical, Moroccan hippie brothel, quite and chic. I think this might go in the bedroom, which will be quite cool. Uh, it's from Asda and it was £25. Most of the stuff that I'm going to show you is from either Asda, Primark, B&M or The Range. The next thing I've got, again, it's not very practical, it is this. I got this as a present for Sam because we were looking at like the practical stuff, like skull lamps and everything. And he was like, oh, I really like that. So I got it for him as like a housewarming present because I want it to be as welcoming and his place as much as it is mine, even though we're not moving together. But yeah, this was from Asta, it was eight pounds. It's got astrology stuff on it, like lines and stuff. I don't know what it is, but I've got a shelf thing that's gonna look, it's gonna look really cool on. I don't know if I'll be able to show you the shelf thing, so I don't know where it is. The next thing that I have is still in its wrapping. It is a lantern, a big lantern. But yeah, this was from Astra's house. It was £12. You will see there is a theme with these sort of lights because I have another one which is very big, which I'll show you in a minute. Mm, I would have preferred it in rose gold or copper, but I like it. I think it's really cool. It will go on the floor, I guess, or maybe on a table because, you know, Fire Floor and Charlotte don't mix. I am aware that I'm showing you all the really impractical stuff. Please understand I do have some practical stuff. I do have all the practical stuff. It's just... A lot of it is in there, in the spare room, and I thought I'll show you the exciting stuff now, and then when I move in, I'll show you everything. Very practical. It's a skull in a bell jar with butterflies on it. 
This was from Asda and it was £10. They've got an Enchanted Forest range, which all my kind of gothic stuff is from. I don't know whether it was just like an autumn winter thing. Pretty much all my Asda stuff is from that, including this. I like cushions. I loved this when I saw it and it was sold out and then it came back on, in stock and I was like, yes, again. It goes with the theme, as does this and this and this. As I said, I have a lot of cushions and I have one more in there. I'm not going to need any more. I'm not going to be able to get a massive furniture set. So if people are going to have to sit on the floor, I have no friends. Then at least there's going to be lots of nice comfy cushions. The furry one, the velvet ones are from B&M. The Once Upon a Time one is from Asda, as I said. Sensible stuff. I have a lot of these. These are from B&M, but I got some from Primark as well. And I got some for Christmas, so I pretty much got all my hangers I need. They're like rose gold. There's a lot of rose gold in this video. They were $1.99. As I said, they're from B&M. The one other thing I'm actually going to need to buy is a wardrobe because I'm keeping my clothes in my cupboard. There's something else I got, again, from B&M. It's $1.99. It's a tights hanger. I'm rubbish with my tights. I, like, lose them and then, like, buy them and then find them or I rip them. So I thought if I just have a tights hanger, then it's just useful. Next up, this is a photo frame that I got from ASOS, but it's new look, so it's new look on ASOS. As you can see, it lights up. Uh, there's no batteries in there at the moment. I'm probably going to put a few photos in here. I think, oh, there's a, there's a little thingy. Sorry. This will probably go in the bedroom because the front room has definitely got a theme, which it doesn't really fit with. Speaking of the theme, this is completely and utterly useless, but it's so cool. It says, good wishes, dreams, the impossible seek, the unknown, achieve greatness. That sentence doesn't even make sense. It's basically... A wish chart. I might put fairy lights in there or something. And it was two forty nine again from B and M. They have some amazing home stuff. It's just really pretty, and I really like it. I might put like glitter um, liquid in there actually because I've made um, a fairy jar, which I will insert a video of here. I might do the same for this if I can. I don't know, but I just really like it. I think it's cool. I might just you know fart in it and bottle it up, and then if someone I don't like comes around, I can just unleash the holy badness on them. Next up, a candle. That's pretty much what it is. And it's a wooden wick candle, crackling natural wooden wick. And this was 3 dollars It's huge. As you can see, the wick is like a piece of wood and I think it's gonna like crackle like a log fire. At least that's what I'm hoping anyway. <laughs> Again, this, it's a little bit Christmassy. It's very Christmassy actually, but I got this because it's cool. And it's like a little snow scene. This was from George and it's eight pounds, but I thought it was so beautiful a plate this is like a silvery gold sort of color it's kind of it looks really tacky but i'm gonna put like loads of candles on it and so it'll get really fucked up with wax and i just think it will look really cool another candle thing and i like this because this is going to emit like the shapes from it if you can see it's i see inside so it's like copper when the candle's in there it will like be pretty shaped yeah it's called a copper cutout hurricane so it's gonna look really cool uh, there's my face this was from b and i don't know how much it was it was only a few pounds fairy lights you can't go wrong with fairy lights these are little ball ones and i love this style they're my favorite i had some on the end of my bed last year but they broke um, these are from george asda they were five pounds you can get them anywhere these are obviously um, in a christmas range but you can get them on ebay for a couple of pounds and i've also got some on my wall there that are different color can you see you can kind of see i can't there there's like different color ones i got those from primark i think i love the ball lights i think they're really really nice i like any fairy lights. this was a present from my mum they went away on holiday somewhere and she bought this back for me and it's like it smells like holiday it smells like oh, oh there's three of them that's so cool so it's like a russian doll that it's like a bridge and each one that comes out i thought the candle was just on the top one but it's on all three so i really like that but i can't say where it's from because it's from wherever my mum went on the holiday last year now this is very sensible and you'll be proud of me for my reasoning behind this i've bought all my towels I did buy lots of black towels um, i bought two black bath sheets some black hand towels and a black bath towel um, which is different to a bar sheet, it is smaller. And I thought, if I get all black towels, then I can just wash them all at the same time. I won't have to worry about colours and separates and all that, because I'm rubbish with that. However, they ran out of the ones that I liked, and then I saw this colour, and I was like, mm, I'll buy some. They're purple. And I also got some lighter purple ones. They're like a dusky purple. I just really like them. There's a whole box of towels. 
I got some tea towels as well. I got everything, all my towels. I, got all, I think all I need is flannels now. Now, again, these are pretty not sensible, but they're just gonna add to the ambiance of the place. So it's a Christmas decoration, but, oh wow, it's like a mirror. And I just think it's really cool. And the next few things are kind of similar. This was from George at Asda. Again, it's a Christmas decoration, so you probably won't be able to buy it. There's lots of little things like that at Asda anyways. If you go now, kind of um, as the winter time ends, hopefully they'll still have the Enchanted Forest stuff. This is a photo frame, mini photo frame from B&M, I think. It was only like a pound. And this I really like. It's completely and utterly, you know, I don't have a sofa, but I have pretend keys. How cool are they? When me and Sam bought these, we both were like, wow, they're really cool. And I've had this idea that when I move in, I'm gonna tell my nieces that fairies used to live there and they left some magical keys and I'll hide the keys somewhere. And if they can find the keys, then, um, I don't know, I haven't thought that far yet, but I'm gonna like hide the keys somewhere and then let them look around and they'll find these magical keys because they do look, you see, they're like beautiful. They're really medieval looking. I really like them. They were four pounds, so not too bad. These are just pearl colored white long candles but with the candelabra. It will look like the fucking set from Beauty and the Beast. The next thing I'm gonna show you is one of two things that I saw that kind of made me get started on this theme about Moroccan hippie crept in magical brothel chic and it's a tapestry and this is from Urban Outfitters and I only got this last week because there was an Urban Outfitters discount code because it was quite expensive it was £45 and I got 25% off so it was like £34, £35 and it is so beautiful you're not really going to be able to see it much it's black and gold Ah, there we go. That's what it looks like. So I could have just showed you that. It's a bit Illuminati, but I am a member of the Illuminati, so that's where me and my Illuminati homeboys can hang out. Now, as I said, I've got two things which cemented my idea for the kind of um, the theme. The tapestry is one, and this is another. This is from the range, I think, and it's an antique Moroccan floor lamp. Can you see? Antique Moroccan floor lamp, and it's. It's a little bit shorter than I thought, but it's so beautiful. I can't get it out because I can't be bothered, but look at that. It was 25 pounds, which is really good for a big lamp. And I just think it's gonna add to the dinginess of the front room. So I'm onto the last box of stuff that I can show you. Obviously, as I said, there's two boxes in there full of stuff um, that I will show you when I move in. This stuff in here is practical stuff. I think this is kitchen stuff. So I will show you some of that. First of all, I forgot. I've got this to show you. And it is this clock, look at that. It's got a handle thingy there, so it'll go on the wall. I don't have a clock. When you've got a phone, you don't really need a clock. I don't have a watch. But I just saw that, and I think it was only 15 pounds, and I was like, that is gorgeous, and that's just gonna add to my kind of theme. I know I've said that a lot, but it's true. It's like a lot of the stuff you get because it's, it might, might not necessarily be practical, but you get it because it kind of, Add to your theme it's exciting as i said i've never moved out i've always loved buying stuff in my bedroom like moving the room around and furniture and everything redecorating it's cool that i'm gonna get to do that with every room it's all gonna be mine i can choose all the stuff that i want to like quilted toilet paper love heart smelling soap which is something that i have bought but it's in the other room as i said this is all practical stuff first thing i want to show you this was a christmas present from sam's family and it's like a cup and it says C on it. I am saving it for my house. This is a very practical thing. Wooden spoons. Most of the spoons in our house don't have handles because I've set fire to them. So I thought pack of eight, 1.99, I can set fire to as many of them as I want. Can't go wrong. This is for the kitchen. This is a tea canister. I drink a lot of green tea. So I thought, I'll put it in there because it's pretty. It did come in there like a matching set, like you could buy coffee, tea, sugar, and milk. But I don't drink coffee, I don't have sugar, and I don't have milk, so I just got this. And something that I can't show you um, is my cutlery, which is all like this. It's like a copper rose gold cutter. It's really beautiful. Um, I've got two sets of cutlery actually because I couldn't decide which ones I wanted, and they were cheap, so why not? The other ones have got purple plastic handles, and I thought they're they're a bit more child friendly because obviously uh, Sam's daughter Lola will probably be coming around and my nieces as well so child friendly stuff. The dinnerware stuff I'm about to show you is my favourite. It's 
not my favourite, it's just my favourite because I'm looking at it now and it's really beautiful. First thing I got, these are from Sainsbury's I think, these are cereal bowls or just bowls and how pretty are they? I got two of those, I think they were like three pounds each. Tom from Intelligent Claim Solutions, you've just disturbed my video. I don't have a PPI. As I was saying, I got the matching cups as well. I like to have like a choice between big cups and little cups depending on what I'm drinking but I thought they were really nice. And I got Sam a cup as well, and that's in there. I can't remember what's on it though. I got him his own cup. So there's two of those. And look at these. These are from Asda. But how gorgeous are they? They say a dash of magic. And they're like bowls, but cups. So they're really, really pretty. I got two of those, and I was really pleased I got them because they were sold out online. But I went into the store and they had them. These are not very practical. I can't work out whether I'm going to use them for glasses or candles, but these, they're like a copper ombre, they go up and they're very pretty. I've got three of those because that's all I could get. And the last thing I have to show you, the matching uh, plates and bowls for the ones that I just showed you, the flower ones. So there's two curvy bowls. These are my favourite type of plates. I don't like flat plates, I only like the curvy ones. So I've got two of those. They're called like pasta bowls, but I don't just have to use them for pasta. I got a small dinner plate and I got a big dinner plate. And I just thought they were really beautiful because the colour scheme is very me. It's like dark purples and pinks and greys and I thought they were really nice. And that is the end of my video. That's all that I've got to show you for now. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you like this and I will keep you updated on what's going on. If you have any questions, then please leave them down below. Um, if you have any ideas for videos, then ask me and I will do them. I hope you have a good day. Thank you. Bye.